Welcome to my channel and to your yoga practice today. My name is Sue. We are going to get started seated in a chair. It's preferable if you have a chair with no arms. It'll give you more movement and range of motion. But if you don't have a chair that's without arms, that's fine. We can modify to fit that. Bring the feet about hip width distance apart. The feet are firmly planted on the floor or on a yoga mat. Scooch forward about an inch away from the back of the chair. And what this does is invites engagement in the core. So you sit up tall and then relax the shoulders down your back. Bring the hands to the belly. Close the eyes. and start by noticing the effect of the inhale and exhale on the belly. I like to start with the breath because it brings us inward. And closing the eyes focuses us inward, bringing us into the present. On your next inhale, draw breath into the belly, expand it. Exhale out the nose, let it go. One more deep belly breath, inhale, belly expands like a balloon. And as you exhale, navel pulls into spine. On your next inhale, Draw breath into the belly and then up into the ribs, opening to the sides. Exhale, ribs, belly. One more time. Inhale, belly, up into the ribs. Feel yourself expand to the sides and then exhale, ribs, belly. On the next inhale, Breath comes in the belly, up through the ribs and into the chest, slight rise in the sternum. And then let it go, same way, chest, ribs, belly. One more just like that. Cultivating three-part Durga breath. A breath you can use to carry through your entire practice. And then come back to your normal breath. Release the hands to the thighs. Flutter the eyes open. On the inhale, sweep the arms around and up. Lift the gaze. Exhale, hands to heart center. Modify your practice. If the hands don't reach all the way up, that's totally fine. Do what works in your body. Release hands to thighs. Inhale, shift forward over to the right, just with the torso, feet stay planted. You're inhaling to the middle, to the left, and as you exhale, circle back and around. Come forward again to the right. You can make these circles as big or as small as feels good in your body. Rotating around with the breath and warming up the hips. Again, inhale right, center, left. And as you exhale, circle back and around. One more time with your breath and at your own pace. And then we'll meet back in neutral seated position. Switch sides. This time, shift the torso over to the left side, middle, to the right, and then exhale back and around. Inhale, left, middle, right, exhale, back, and circling two more times, sinking breath with movement. 
It's that alignment with the breath that's more important than any shape or how deep you go, how big or small your circle is. Simply sinking breath with movement is what creates our yoga practice. And after your final circle, come back to neutral. Relax the shoulders, maybe a little smile on the face because you're practicing yoga today. Interlace the fingers behind your back. If this is not available to you, you can simply hold on to the sides of the chair. If you are interlacing the fingers behind the back, draw the hands over to the right hip. Rest them there. And then drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Feeling a stretch along the right side of the neck. Keep sitting up nice and straight. Draw the navel into the spine, toning the core to protect the low back and sacrum. Inhale, bring the chin up, switch sides. Bring the hands over to the left hip, rest them there. That left elbow is relaxed and then drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Breathing into the opening on the left side of the neck. Imagine you're lifting up slightly with the left ear. So rather than collapsing into the right side, there's a little lift and then you might feel a little more length. And then inhale, come back to center. Bring the hands to the thighs, shimmy out the shoulders. Interlace the fingers behind the skull. You can stay here or you can bring your hands to the sides of the chair if this is too much in your shoulders to have the arms lifted. And if the hands are behind the skull, gently press the elbows back to lift the chest. Inhale, lengthen up tall. On the exhale, side body stretch to the right. You don't have to go too far. Keep pressing down into the feet for balance. And then maybe start to gently press that left shoulder blade back. Root down into the left sits bones. And inhale, come back to center. On the exhale, side body stretch to the left. Expand the breath. Exhale matches inhale. Using the calmness of the breath to ease you through this challenge. And then inhale, come back to center. On the exhale, release the hands to the thighs, shake out the shoulders, take some rolls. And then come back to neutral. Bring the hands over to the right leg, across the right thigh, both hands on the right side. As you inhale, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, rotate and twist to the right. You can keep the hands on the thighs, or maybe reach them down for the right side of the chair for a little deeper stretch. Option to bring that right arm to the top of the back of the chair. And then make space in the neck by dropping the shoulders down, sit up tall, and then use the exhale to twist. Inhale, come back to center, and reset. Walk the hands to the left thigh, on the outside of the thigh. Press into the feet, sit up tall. And as you exhale, twist to the left. Gentle in the neck, not to over-rotate. Maybe bring the hands down to the outer edge of the chair. Maybe that left arm comes to the back of the chair. Inhale, 
each inhale sit up a little taller and with the exhale notice a slight rotation along the axis of the spine as you twist and then inhale unwind come back to neutral release the hands to the thighs knees are over ankles on the inhale extend the right leg tap the right heel to the floor in front of you you can keep a bend in the knee exhale bring the ankle back under the knee inhale tap the left heel to the floor exhale ankle under knee inhale other side tapping in line with your breath And then maybe you add the arms. Option to open the arms to the sides. And then as you extend the heel, clap the hands together. Inhale, foot comes back in. Then tap the other side, hands clap together. And bring the foot back in, moving from side to side clapping with the heel tap and you can make that a silent clap or a little louder clap whatever you choose or just keep the hands on the thighs a couple more times each side and find your breath if it's gotten away from you, notice that. See if you can re-engage the breath and the awareness of it. And then come back to neutral, release the hands to the thighs. Walk the feet about a half footprint in front of you. Root the feet into the floor or the mat. Hold onto the sides of the chair. Sit up straight. Draw the belly button back toward the spine. Inhale, lift up tall. As you exhale with a flat back, start to hinge forward. Maybe 10 degrees, maybe 20 degrees, maybe you come to 45 degrees, not all the way down. We're hovering belly is above the thighs and then on the inhale press back up lift sitting to center and then we'll meet back seated in neutral walk the feet back in under the knees hands to the thighs bring the hands back to the belly close the eyes reconnect with the breath and notice the expansion of the belly opening like a balloon. Exhale, let all the air out. And then come back to your three-part Durga breath, just like at the beginning of practice. Draw full breath into the belly. Lift it up into the ribs, the chest. Sternum lifts slightly. And exhale the same way, chest, ribs, belly, slowing it down. Taking a moment to integrate the movement that we just did in practice. One more full breath here just like that. And after your next full exhale, come back to your normal breath. Release the hands to the thighs, open the eyes. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.